three weeks, but we're about going to play another home game this week. It's homecoming. We have Army. The game's at 2.35 kickoff. Uh, it'll be rebroadcast on WHNO TV 20 at 6 o'clock. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. We have notes in the back. Uh, now here's head coach Bob Toledo. Ken just want to get on TV, I know. I can see if I can figure this out. Well, obviously the uh, the food has gotten a lot better here, or that was a hell of a win, one of the two. I, I, where have you guys all been? But uh, anyway, uh, I tell you what, that, that was a great win for our program. Uh, we all know that. Uh, we all are very excited about uh, what happened last week. Uh, the thing that our team, I think, is starting to realize is, is, is that uh, they've learned how to play hard all the time. And uh, they've overcome adversity. And the one thing that everybody talks about is how our kids play hard till the end, never give up, never quit. It would have been very easy after the second play of the game to belly up. And we didn't. And so that's the point I'm trying to make is we're, we're, we're learning to overcome adversity. We're realizing it's a 60-minute game. We realize that bad things happen during the course of a game. You just got to keep playing. You got to focus on the next play. You got to put the last play behind them, and they're doing a great job. Uh, in my opinion, there's a lot of reasons why we won the football game. Uh, one of the big reasons is, number one, we didn't turn the ball over. And uh, they threw an interception at the end on the last play. Alex Walker made a nice interception. Number two is we didn't get sacked. We had zero sacks, and I think we've had 11 prior to the game. Uh, and we got four sacks. Our defense is doing a great job of, of pressuring, of uh, having tackles for loss, and sacking the quarterback, and, and, and getting him to, to not throw on, on a rhythm. So uh, they're doing a great job. The other thing is we only had three penalties. We had two offensive penalties and, and, and one defensive penalty, a, a pass interference. They had nine penalties. And uh, I think we won the kicking game battle. The, the, the kick just before half uh, was phenomenal by uh, our freshman, Jonathan Ginsburg. And again, maybe the Ducks are lining up in order for us, too, because the ball bounced off his hand. It was a bad snap, hit the ground, bounced right back to him. He was able to take a couple steps to the right and kick it before he got hit. So uh, sometimes you need a little luck, too. And then the, the big thing is we finished the game. You know, we're, we're learning to finish games. And uh, hopefully we can continue that trend. Uh, I think we've grown up a lot as a football team. And uh, there's no question, in my opinion, we're better. And I've told you that before. We're better than we've been in the past. We've now got to continue to do what we're doing. We're starting to believe that, uh, that we can play with anybody. I'm trying to preach that. And we're starting to, to expect to win. And I think that's important. So from a, from a mental aspect, uh, we're trying to, you know, uh, use a little psychology on our players as well and, and, and make them believe that, that they're good and they're, they're buying into it. If you look at Army, they're three and two. And uh, I tell you, they're a much improved football team over a year ago. Rich Ellerson took over last year and, and they struggled at times in, in putting in their system, but they, they've really come on. Uh, the difficult thing about playing Army is that they are a different football team. Offensively, they run the wishbone, <clears throat> basically. <clears throat> and number two is they run a, a double eagle flex defense that he installed when he was at Arizona. They call it the Desert Swarm at that time. And uh, I've, I've coached against Rich uh, numerous times. And I tell you what, it's, a, it's the single most difficult defense we, we face. Uh, it's hard to do much against it. And he's doing a great job. Uh, the problem is you don't have a lot of time to prepare for it. You know, a year ago we had a bye week. We spent a little time on it. Uh, this year we have a little experience with it because we have faced it uh, in the past. But you got to teach your scout players how to run that offense and how to run that defense, and that's what makes it difficult. Uh, the other thing is they keep the ball away from you. You know, they, they uh, give you about 10 possessions a game. Normally used to about 13 possessions a game. Uh, th they keep the ball for 35 minutes and you get it for 25 minutes. So they get it 10 more minutes than you do. And it's frustrating. I remember sitting on the sideline and, 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 and watching it and watching it when I uh, played against Air Force. You know, you're on the sideline and you're waiting for offense to get back in and it's just, you know, when are we going to get back in? And when you get back in, you got to try to make something happen. So they, they put some pressure on you. And uh, they're running about 70 plays, the opponent's 55 plays. So you got to make hay 
when, when you got it offensively. Their quarterback, uh, Trent Steelman, uh, was a freshman last year. He's put on about 20 pounds, much improved. He's a very good runner. He's their leading rusher. Uh, has really improved throwing the football. Uh, he is now uh, creating some problems as, as a passer where a year ago he didn't uh, do that. And then, of course, their middle linebacker, Steven Anderson, uh, is their leading tackler. He played against us last year, made a lot of plays. And uh, their defensive end, Josh McNary, uh, he played against us last year. He gave us fits. Uh, he, he leads their team in sacks. Uh, and their special teams, you know, they're, they're just a consistent team. We need to be consistent. But, you know, we've been here before. Two years ago, we were 2-2. Two and two, And we played them at homecoming, that stadium down the road. And uh, we, uh, we were embarrassed. And I'll tell you what, we're, uh, we're hopefully not going to be embarrassed again. So uh, having said that, uh, we've elected uh, Cody Sparks as our captain for the game, along with our three uh, season captains. Uh, you saw that Conference USA uh, Defensive Player of the, of the Week was Desmond Moses, and you got his stats. And our Special Teams Defensive Player of the, of the Week for Conference USA was Jonathan Ginsburg. Uh, injuries real quick. Uh, Kevin Burris uh, injured his knee a week ago in practice, didn't make the trip, and it appears that he's going to be out for, for a long time. Um, Kevin Moore, finger, has not healed yet. Uh, he will be out this week as well. Orleans Darqua, we're getting him checked this week. Uh, he hasn't practiced yet. He's sick right now, has 102 temperature. But uh, uh, if we can get him going uh, later on in the week, there's a possibility he can play. A possibility. But I, I'm not... Uh, I'm not thinking about him playing at this point. And then we got a lot of the guys that nicked and bumped and beat up a little bit, ankles and things like that, but they'll be able to play. Having said all that, what questions do you have?